Hey everybody, how's it going today? Texas Redleg here. Wanted to show you guys and gals my vehicle setup for just everyday use really. And of course SHTF should it come to that. But I uh, wanted to just sort of go through what I do and uh, you know give you guys maybe some options for yours and maybe a different scale depending on the vehicle that you have the room that you have the availability that you have but something you might want to think about going forward so i'll start back here this is just a normal bin it's got you know general automotive stuff in it for the most part some booster cables i've got a mylar bag here with some uh, two-way radios we got a bag uh you know uh an inflator rather inside of a uh, plastic bag i've got a first aid kit right there four-way tire tool obviously gloves some chain a good floor jack because changing the off-road tire on a vehicle you know in the field ain't easy um, those little bottle jacks will straight up get you killed but anyway this is just sort of my um you know carry box i always keep in here i got some tools in here uh, some lubricants some more gloves pliers crescent wrench things like that just normal running the mill stuff you keep in a vehicle uh, for things that might go wrong and it doesn't take up a lot of room as you can see really small I still got the use of my cargo space and then this here is uh it's like a you know a little storage bag for the back side of your rear seat section in the suv and you see it just buckles around the headrest right here for for hanging purposes and then it's got see one two three zippered compartments that run the width of the vehicle on the interior so we'll go to the top one here See, I've got a little mini shovel here. I've got a hatchet. I've got some, um, it's not 550 cord, it's just some uh, rubberized line, which is pretty handy for this and that. But I've also got a file that I can sharpen this hatchet blade with. So that's one, one uh, that's the top, that's the top, uh, compartment the second compartment holds some buckshot that i've got a nice clock knife a fishing kit As you never know. And that's off of that compartment. They're not super thick and super, super large, but they do what I need to do. And then the bottom compartment holds my tactical defense 12 gauge shotgun. As you can see here, it's nothing special to it. It's just a Maverick 88 with some furniture on it. However, uh, it will certainly do the job in a pinch. And it's always with me. <clears throat> That's as far as, uh, as far as that compartment that hangs on the back seat into the cargo section. That's about all I have in it. But as you can see, you know, if times got tough, I could make ends meet here. And one of the reasons I carry a, a long gun in my vehicle is that in case I get hung up in a situation where a handgun is just not going to do the job. Maybe I'm stuck out in the woods. Maybe I need to kill something to eat. Maybe I'm in a, you know, ambush situation where I've got a roadblock in front of me and people are doing damage. Maybe I'm going to end up in a I don't know, a uh, riot somehow, and there's vehicles running people down or what have you. You know, a shotgun with some buckshot will certainly do the trick. And I've got more than this in here. Um, this is just 
a couple boxes handy with the firearm as you can see as just where it, it's being stored i've got other um other quantities of this in the vehicle itself however um you know this isn't the end all be all um and, you know these uh situations always are going to probably occur when we uh you know don't expect them to be occurring and it's better to be prepared for them if they do. And um, again, you know, this shotgun is probably the, the cheapest one that I've got in my arsenal. But uh, should I need something other than a handgun in my vehicle, I've got it with me. And I thought that was important. And it doesn't take up much room, as you can see. If you rewind it back to the, the front of the video, this little bag just hangs there. And most, no, most people don't even know, don't have a clue that it's even there. So... I would encourage everybody to beef up their vehicle capabilities with regard to SHTF as soon as possible. And there's some other compartments in this vehicle that I am able to uh, store, you know, some emergency rations and, uh, like I said, more buckshot and and uh, other, you know, flashlights, um, things like that. So, hope everybody's having a good week. Uh, getting ready to hit the weekend here in a few couple days and hopefully be able to get some more stuff done accomplish the goals we need to accomplish but i certainly hope that everybody will uh, take this into consideration going forward and do what they need to do to get ready because i don't think we've seen anything yet so with that keep prepping stack it deep and long live the republic